<laughs> that was so weird. Howdy partners, <laughs> welcome to the Pashtons, hope you're doing okay. I'm sure most of you are aware of Hurricane Milton that passed through Florida a couple of days ago. We have Airbnbs in St. Augustine, Florida. They were all rented with evacuees from Tampa. St. Augustine obviously didn't get hit as hard as Tampa and if you were on the west coast or if you know anyone on the west coast, I really hope everyone is okay. Yeah, we're sending everyone our thoughts and prayers. Our houses are both in evacuation zone A. There was a mandatory evacuation notice put out there. We are in the highest risk area in St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah, and our houses are right on a marsh. Bodies of water right there and everything, so we had to let the guests know, like, hey, you're in a mandatory evacuation zone. We have not been to the houses yet to see if there was any damage. Well, let's go and see what the damage is like. The nerves are hitting because we've been passing all these little like side river things that are very high up and our house is just down this block. I don't think the house will have flooded because it's a brand new build. We took the historical flood level into account when we were building, but mm. I'm still really nervous about it. And I see it! The moment of truth. We got a little bit of flooding here, nothing bad. That's good. Let's hope this is our only issue. All right. I'm pretty sure inside's gonna be fine, because like I said, it's a brand new build. It's got a metal roof. Oh my gosh, this is great. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, wow, we're lucky. We're, whoa, look. This is where the water would have come to. So this all happened two days ago. The hurricane was two days ago. We haven't been yet. This must have drained back out to the marsh. Yeah. This is the water level here. Water would have come up just before our deck. Yeah, they Part of the palm tree fell over there, but not bad at all. The door is so dirty though. We had to clean that. Definitely got windy over here. Wow, I just can't believe how high the water ended up coming up. Yeah. We should ask if our neighbor has a picture or like a video of how high the water is. Yeah. I think we can consider ourselves very, very lucky that this is our only damage to this house because living right next to this, this is not good. This is the house I'm much less worried about. The one that lost power actually had some trees scheduled to be cut down. So I'm, that's why I'm a little bit worried about that one. Yeah, if those ones fell, let's, let's get over. The guests literally just sent me this from before they left. Wow. Oh my God. <gasps> Look how high up it was. Look, that's, well, that's exactly where I thought yeah. it was because of all the reeds. That's wild. That went down quick. That went down really quick. I just saw someone fishing on the side of the road. <laughs> and it looked like he caught something. There's the Florida power line people, is that what it's called? Wait, that's probably a bad sign that they <laughs> That's probably a good sign that they fixed it. Oh, I guess, yeah. Oh, watch. There's a cable. Look. Oh my gosh. The cable fell. Yeah, I'm just gonna park here. I feel like we shouldn't park on oh that, right? Oh my gosh, look. Look at that as the FBL. I know. Up. Whoa. I'm scared to take this branch off. I don't want to move yeah. this branch. The airstream looks fine. That big tree behind was scheduled to be torn down as well, so... That could have been so bad. Yeah. Oh! Well, oh! A light bulb! Oh, hello. A light bulb fell. Oh no! There's a sound! Oh my gosh, a few of them fell. Perfect timing. We drove past the FPL truck. FPL is Florida Power and Light. That's the, I guess, governing board of like the electricity, whatever here. They said they're going to fix this cable for us. I guess put our oh branches in a pile. Oh my gosh, how amazing are they? This, I'm a bit nervous about. Pause. Yeah. There was a giant tree in the back that was scheduled to be cut down. I knew with the way the winds were going, it definitely it wasn't going to fall on the house, so I wasn't worried about the house. But I was worried about like string lights and the mini golf course and all that kind of stuff in the back. Let's go and see. Very, very leafy. The lights are intact. Yay! And the light bulbs are on them. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. Wait, they must have fallen over. Our guests must have put the lighthouse and stuff back on over there, right? There's a kitty over there. This might this be your day. Distribution system about to find me because I'll cry. <laughs> Stop, come back. To all cats watching, please come find me. All I know is God was on our side for this because we got very lucky, especially considering the tree was supposed to be cut down, like that one. We did have guests staying throughout the whole hurricane in here, and they did tell us the chimney was leaking. Let's see the fireplace. That's so Ew, sweet. It's like yellow. <laughs> That's so sweet of our guests. To, I don't yeah. know where they found this. I have no idea. Well, I think in general. We are very, very lucky. And we hope you guys were just as lucky as well. I just realized one thing as you were saying that. What? We haven't checked our land when we're building our house. Should we go look? Well, there's some fence down. We've had a visitor. Oh, look at the little cutie feet. Wait, that's so, that's cute. so cute. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Listen, we'll take it. Oh, oh wow, look, that came That really was a close. big one. I'm so grateful. We got so lucky but a lot of people didn't. It slowed down to a category one by the time it hit us, but there were some people that got hit on the West Coast in a category three, yeah. a lot of people. 
and we're going to put some links below. If you want to donate, we're going to donate to the Hurricane Relief Funds. I'm going to put some links below, and if you can find it in your heart and have a few spare dollars to donate, that would be really, really appreciated.